Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm creating two cards, really similar, only using other colors. Um, and this card is for a challenge between me and my crafty friend Julia. Uh, as you know us, by now we have given each other lots and lots of challenges to get through this strange period of this virus and all the lockdowns and stuff like that. Um, so our challenge for this time was to create a card by only using one image. So I decided to use this big Yeti and of course using a bigger image is easier to create a card with by only using one image. Um, but actually this Yeti is truly one of my favorites. It's like so cute but it's so big as well. Um, and I just think that this one can stand on its own and I also decided to just leave it a really easy background to really stand out so I'm coloring with my Copic markers this means that I have stamped this image out on Nina 110 and I did that with my Gina K Design Amalgam ink. It's really my go-to ink. It's good for watercoloring, for Copic markers. So truly a really versatile ink uh, with a great result each time. So this Yeti is from the Me and My Yeti from Mama Elephant. And I'm just putting the caps on the side so that you can see what colors I'm using for reference and I'm also using that colorless blender to to really get that uh, softness in the middle of my Yeti's belly so I'm making a red orangey card as well as a blue one and this will be my blue Yeti So I die cut both of the Yeti's using the matching dies and now I'm taking my basic rectangles and I'm going to die cut two panels out of Nina and here you see me taking the second largest but in the end I will end up with two of the largest rectangles because I'm also going to use this Starburst cover from Mama Elephant and this one is bigger than the second largest basic rectangle so I had to change that. So I'm just cutting my uh, Nina, I only have small scissors, so I cannot run a whole sheet through it, um, so I need to cut it down. So now after die cutting these two panels, I can lay that Starburst cover on top of it and also die cut all the stars out of this cover. And the advantage about using the basic rectangles that I find is that actually that stitch detail is perfect to 
measure where your starburst cover must be it's like the yeah it's just perfection it fits in there perfectly so I know that my starburst cover will be aligned straight in there and I'm doing the second one as well and then I decided to poke out all of those stars and leave it white uh, because I'm going to put this cover on top of a white carpet so there would already be white stars I'm also keeping those stars because it's just it's really adorable and it's perfect shaker materials And then I am going to stamp out my sentiment. For my sentiments for these two cards I am using one and the same from the sentiments from Ayeti. I really think that these word puns are just amazing and I'm going to heat emboss that. So I'm using my Versamar clear embossing ink to stamp it out and then I will be using my embossing powder from Longfon Silver and when everything is stamped out and heat embossed I can continue with my background and putting some color on top of it So for the ink blending I am taking first some purple tape and I'm masking off that stitched detail because I want to leave that white and as you can see I'm not putting that right up to the bottom of my panel because there the ink will not come. I'm going to let it fade out into a white area so that even that pinkish orangey card will still have like sort of a snowy bottom that, that's the idea of fading out into the white for these cards 
So here I use the Spiced Marmalade and Worn Lipstick and now for my blue card I am using the Evergreen Ball. And then I can start assembling my two cards. So I'm, I am adhering these yetis using some thin foam squares. So now that my yetis are in place, I am going to add some of those stars that I poked out next to the yeti and to the sentiment. I had a few smudges and actually adhering the, some of the stars uh, really helped covering them. And then of course you need to get a few of those stars going on. Um, so I just did sort of a scattering of stars. Next up, I can adhere these two panels on top of my American size card bases. Therefore, I'm just using some liquid glue. And then I will also be adding some glossy accents. And then my card is finished, or my cards are finished. Um, I really hope that you like this card design. Actually using one image, it's really easy to recreate this card. Going in all the colors and such, I think I will make some more uh, in the future. Trying some greens and purples maybe. Um, but yeah, don't let it scare you by only using one image. You can go as crazy as you want in the background if necessary. Uh, I try to keep it really simple and I hope you like this. If you have any questions, you can always leave them down below. I'm really grateful that you all stopped by. I truly appreciate that. Um, I hope that you all are safe and your family. These are some difficult times, but hopefully uh, we can get through them together and maybe it goes fast. I hope so, but you don't know. Um, be safe and I hope to see you next time. Bye!